So with iOS and iPadOS 16.2, Apple finally gave us the application called Freeform. Now Freeform was a collaboration software and application that Apple talked about during their June WWDC keynote. And we didn't actually get it until this 16.2 update. So in this video, I wanna do a complete walkthrough of what Freeform is, what it can do, and all the ins and outs of it. Now, big caveat. I am running iPadOS 16.2 Beta 1 and iOS 16.2 Beta 1 on both devices respectively. So depending on when you're watching this, it could be a little bit buggy, or if you are watching it when it is finally officially released to the public, then this will still apply to you. But without further ado, let's talk about Freeform and everything that you can do with it because it is a very, very powerful software. And honestly, Apple should have talked about Freeform a lot more because it's probably the best update of 16.0 overall. Let's get into it. Okay everyone, so let's get right into this video. So as you can see, I have both the Freeform app on the iPad and then the Freeform app on my iPhone and we're using a 13 Pro Max on the left and then an M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro on the right hand side. Now I'm gonna be using the iPad Pro as the main canvas to show it off, but I brought the iPhone over here just to show you what it's like from a collaboration standpoint as well and see how it works in real time. So the first thing you're actually gonna to wanna to do doesn't even have to do with the application itself. You're gonna to wanna to go into settings, go into your iCloud, and then under this apps using iCloud, go to show all. And then down here, this freeform toggle is actually gonna to be turned off by default. And it's gonna be turned off by default on both devices. In order to do all the collaboration and the sharing of the freeform canvas, this has to be turned on. So make sure you do this the moment you actually wanna start using freeform. If not, it will not let you share it. You can still use freeform on your own. It just won't let you share it. But now that we got that out of the way, make sure that's turned on for both of them. Let's get right into the application. So let's go into Freeform, and we're just gonna go through the application from beginning to end. So on the left-hand side, you have all your management and organization. So you have your all boards, your recents, your shared, and then you also have favorited. Now, in terms of how many boards you can have open, I haven't been able to find a limit anywhere on Apple's website. So take that with a grain of salt, but for right now, it seems to me that you can have unlimited boards. But it's very simple to start one up, just like any other node or anything else in Apple's ecosystem. You just tap on this right here, and then voila, you are brought into the actual board. Now, what I will show you first off is what it looks like in light mode to see if it changes at all. So if you go into light mode, the only thing that changes is actually the taskbar on top. So if I wanna bring this back down, so if I wanna turn on dark mode again, that is what you get from a dark mode perspective. So it's not like the notes application because the notes application actually matches the entire canvas matches the dark mode and light mode, but here, this canvas stays white no matter what. And then just to show you guys how to navigate, on the top left-hand side, that's how you actually interact with the file itself. So you can rename it, you can duplicate it, favorite it, find it, hide the grid, which you can see right here, and then also export as PDF and then print. And then as you go across the toolbar, you have multiple options, right? You have your actual, you have your Apple Pencil Kit, which pops up down here. You have the ability to add an actual notepad, double tap to enter text which you can do, which we'll touch on in a little bit. You have the ability to add shapes from basic to geometric shapes to objects, so like chairs, shirts. So again, think about this as maybe like a fashion team trying to come up with their next you know, collaboration or their next line of items. They're gonna use this stuff. You have the ability to put animals, nature, food, symbols, education. There's a lot of different things that you can add on here. And it seems like Apple has thought of most things, most of the people that will be using this. You even have ornaments over here, which is great to have for the winter time. Then you have the ability to add text. So double tap to add text and you can do that anywhere you want. And then you have just a normal way to actually interact with it. So you can do, you can change the text format, the size, the color. You can even change the different fonts. So if you wanna use different fonts, it also happens, which is really nice to see. Bold, italic. You have the ability to bring up the keyboard also which there it is, and then it's all fine and dandy. And then finally, you do have the ability to add a bunch of different things from this last option. You have the ability to add photos or videos. You can take a picture directly from the camera, scan a document and add it, add a link, and then insert from an actual folder in your files application. So we'll get out of there. Then you have the undo button, so we can just keep pressing undo until everything is gone. You have the share button, which we can touch on in a little bit. And then you have the ability to add another note. So if I want to press this again, it'll just add a separate note. But let's go back to the original one. And then the last thing you do see on the screen is down here you have a percentage. And that is just the actual scaling of how big or small your canvas is. So you're 20% zoomed out. I like to zoom into 100 to start off, but then you can see that these dots actually get bigger. And it seems like 400% is as big as you can go. And then if you zoom all the way out, the smallest, smallest, smallest you can go, it seems. If you keep going, what is it going to let you do? 10%. So it goes from 10% to 400%, as you can see right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rename this so we can do this live together. We'll do test v2, we'll press done. I'm gonna share this actually via text message with myself on my phone, which is right here. 
we'll let it do its thing. And then on my phone itself, it should pop up immediately. We'll press on this. It takes me to the test V2, and now we are opened up right then and there. So some other things to take note of with Freeform. So first off, let's start adding some things. So let's pull this up, start writing hello. And then you can see on the left-hand side on the iPhone, it's actually updating in real time. And there's a little bracket around what I'm actually using to let you know and to signify like, hey, somebody from the other side is actually the one writing this, not yourself. So hello, how are you? And then another thing that we notice is that we actually got a new tool down here, which is kind of like a paint blotcher. So if you click on this, I have it on red right now, and you have like a, the lasso effect to add a blotch. So if I do one of these, you have a whole blotch of red and it looks like it goes behind any text. It won't go over the text. So I do like that. And you can see that in real time, it does update on the iPhone itself. So if I add a little note right here, let's move it over to the side. I wanna make it bigger. Double tap to enter, say hello, return done and then that's right there and then i can go into the iphone zoom in and then see that in real time now another thing that i did notice is that with the percentages right here you can actually tap on it to zoom in and out so i can zoom all the way out to 10 percent or i can zoom all the way into 400 and i can even go as granular as here so if i want to pull this up and write something really really small i'll write what's up sorry for the bad handwriting and if i zoom all the way in here on the phone you can see that it's there as well. So again, very intuitive. It's happening in real time. Now, yes, I'm on the same Wi-Fi. Yes, it's technically the same iCloud account, but still it's working extremely well. So as you can see, I just added an image from a folder and it's right here. So that's the image itself. And you can see on the phone itself, it's actually loading and adding that image in real time. What I wanted to do and check with this image itself was to see if I can actually annotate the image. So if I click on the crayon right here, make sure that it's red. It looks like I can annotate the image, but as you can see on the phone itself, it's taking a little while to add the image, so keep that in mind. Again, we are on beta one, so depending on when you're watching this, it's gonna depend on how stable Freeform is, but so far, it is relatively stable. Now, I'm curious over here, if I want to go to grab this, can I delete it and it'll go away? Yep. As you can see, I deleted it on the iPhone and it got deleted from the iPad itself, but it finally added and it kinda got confused, but if I go back here, let's delete that again. If I wanna go move this over, go on the hello, and you have the ability to change colors. So if I wanna change this to like an orange one, look, it changes over here as well. So everything is happening in real time. It's happening very, very quickly. And then some other things that I did wanna mention is if I press on this little button right here, which is the people that I'm sharing it with, you do have the ability to audio call and video call. Now, obviously this happens via FaceTime. And then on the phone itself, you just click on the logo and then you do have the ability to video call. But right now, it, that's the part that I have not been able to get working. So I'm curious to see how that works. Apple did show a bunch of demos at WWDC to let you know what it's gonna look like. But as you can see, it does not really work when I'm pressing it. And then some last little tidbits that I did wanna try out were, so let's go into here. If I wanna press print, what happens? It just goes to whatever printer. I can export it as a PDF. So obviously somebody had a question if I can actually import a PDF into here, annotate it. It seems like you can, but I will try it with a PDF. So if I go insert from, you can see that this is a document that I have right here. So if I wanna write on there, let's say there's like a signature that I need to add. And what the beauty of it is, is that I actually have my regular toolbar. So I can just go in here, sign whatever I need to sign, and then you can see that on the phone itself, it's signing as well, and then I can just print that out, which is awesome. So a lot of positive things with Freeform, but overall, it's very self-explanatory, right? Everything that you have on the toolbar is very, very familiar, adding images, adding text, adding links. I, want, I do wanna see what it's like to add a link. So let's add a link and go to ESPN.com. So it acts as a little car that you can move around, which is very cool to see. So if I tap on the ESPN, just move it, I can move it around, make it bigger. And then you can see that there's a little eye right here. Let's see what that's for. So it takes you to Safari. So that's good to know. There's a little trash button. You can duplicate it. There's a little three dots. So constraint proportions, description, a bunch of different things that you can do once you're already in the canvas. But overall, I just wanted to show you guys a quick rundown of what Freeform is gonna look like moving forward. And let me know in the comments down below what else you guys wanna see because overall it seems pretty self-explanatory, but I will see if there are any other little tidbits that are worth sharing as time goes on. 
But for now, let's get out of this view and finish up the video. Now that is gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, Freeform is kind of like Apple Notes, but on steroids. It gives us everything that we wanted from Apple Notes and then some. You know, my favorite parts about this are the infinite canvas, the real-time collaboration. There's a bunch of stuff to like about this new Freeform application. I do hope that in the future they kind of just mesh the notes application and Freeform together because the infinite canvas is a much, much needed feature of any notes application and that's why I used to love OneNote because you can zoom in and out as far as you wanted and continue to increase the size of your notepad as much as you wanted versus on the regular Apple native notes application that was absolutely impossible. But like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. Leave a little dolphin in the comments down below if you guys did make it to the end. And let me know if you guys have tried Freeform yet. Are you guys on the beta? If you're watching this after the betas and after the public release, are you using it? Do you see yourself using this in the future? And what do you think this is gonna be used for mostly? Is it gonna be kind of in the school world? Will it come to the professional world? I'm always curious to know your thoughts, so leave them down in the comments below and I'll be answering some of those. If you do wanna watch some more iPadOS, macOS, or iOS videos, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando and I'm out of here. Leave some comments or some questions you have about Freeform that we didn't touch on, and I'll be answering them in the comments. Peace.